Riyadu Sulayim. Chapter 41, Prohibition of Disobeying Parents and Severance of Relations. Allah, the Exalted, says. So would you perhaps, if you turned away, cause corruption on earth and sever your ties of relationship? Those who do so are the ones that Allah has cursed, so he deaf end them and blinded their vision. Surah 47 verses 22 to 23 But those who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and spread corruption on earth, for them is the curse, and they will have the worst home. Surah 13 verse 25 And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except him, and to parents, good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them so much as, you have, and do not repel them but speak to them a noble word. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy and say, My Lord, have mercy upon them as they brought me up when I was small. Surah 17 verses 23 to 24 Abu Bakranyafe bin Alharith, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Shall I not inform you of the biggest of the major sins? Messenger of Allah peace be upon him asked this question thrice. We said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. Please inform us. He said, Ascribing partners to Allah, and to be undutiful to your parents. Messenger of Allah peace be upon him sat up from his reclining position and said, and I warn you against giving forged statement and a false testimony, I warn you against giving forged statement and a false testimony. Messenger of Allah peace be upon him kept on repeating that warning till we wished he would stop. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, this hadith mentions some of the major sins. A major sin is one against which there is a serious warning in the noble Quran and hadith. When disobedience to parents is mentioned along with shirk, polytheism, it makes the fact evident, that both of these are very serious sins. Similar is the case of telling a lie and false testimony, which in the incident mentioned in this hadith made Messenger of Allah peace be upon him to leave his pillow and sit attentively. It indicates that the latter two are serious. May Allah protect all Muslims from all such sins. Abdullah bin Amor bin Alas, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, the Prophet peace be upon him said, of the major sins are, to ascribe partners to Allah, disobey parents, murder someone, and to take a false oath, intentionally. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Commentary, there are many more major sins which have been enlisted, and discussed at length by Muhadathan in independent volumes, such as Az-Zawajir and Iqtraf al-Kabir, Kitab al-Kabir by Ayad Dhahabi. This hadith mentions some of the major sins enumerated by the Prophet peace be upon him on a particular occasion. We can also say that the sins mentioned here are some of the most serious among the major sins. Abdullah bin Amor bin Alas, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, it is one of the gravest sins to abuse one's parents. It was asked, by the people, O Messenger of Allah, can a man abuse his own parents? Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, he abuses the father of somebody who, in return, abuses the former's father, he then abuses the mother of somebody who, in return, abuses his mother. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Another narration is, Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, one of the major sins is to curse one's parents. It was submitted, O Messenger of Allah. How can a man curse his own parents? He peace be upon him said, when someone curses the parents of another man who in return abuses the former's father, and when someone abuses the mother of another man who in return abuses his mother. Commentary we learn from this hadith that one should not abuse anyone's parents, because in the event, he is paid in the same coin, 
he will be responsible for disgracing his own parents. Abu Muhammad Jubair bin Mudim, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, the person who severs the bond of kinship will not enter Jannah. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, this hadith poses a serious threat to those who violate the divine injunctions of maintaining good ties of kinship. In spite of such a serious warning, this major sin is very common in our present-day society. The purpose of this warning is that Muslims prevent themselves from it. May Allah save us from it. Abu Isa al mughira bin Shubat, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah has forbidden you, disobedience to your mothers, to withhold what you should give, or demand what you do not deserve, and to bury your daughters alive. And Allah dislikes idle talk, to ask too many questions, for things which will be of no benefit to one, and to waste your wealth. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim.